Hey guys, what's going on? Joel Tavares here. You're watching Dual Shockers TV on DualShockers.com. I'm here with Martin Celine, uh, the game creator behind Unravel, right? So um, we, we just had a chance to get some hands-on time with the game. Um, now, for those of you that are unaware, Martin was actually on stage at the E3 press conference this year. And uh, pretty much there, there wasn't a dry eye in the house, I think, <laughs> after after your trailer debuted. Um, even watching it from home, I was just like, whoa, this was this is very, this is very intense. Um, I mean, for, for those who aren't familiar with Unravel, if you want to just briefly touch on it, just to let them know what to expect. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a puzzle platformer, um, which, is, uh, which is about love. <laughs> no, it, really, it's, it started with this, uh, this idea that I had for, like, what if love and the bonds between people who love each other are actual, like, real physical bonds, like strands of yarn. And what if we could make a game where you played a character that was made from that stuff? And um, that's basically where it was all, all, all born. That you would be this little character made of yarn who is on this big quest to try to mend a broken bond, essentially. Right. Um, and and uh, the, the picture that you paint, or the way you kind of set things up early on, you have the, uh, the older woman with the picture of a, a child, I'm guessing. And then it's kind of your, it's your, it's your goal to kind of figure out what, what happened there. Yeah, pretty much. I, I think it's important that, that people get to make the story kind of into their own thing. So I don't want to say too much about it, but it's basically, I mean, she's the starting point and what it means and what it means to you is basically up to you. Yeah. Uh, so we want to, I guess we what we want to do is like we, we provide the notes, but you get to arrange them into music. Right. Sort of. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, you had mentioned a little bit earlier off camera about, um, you know, having, having, having as a studio, you've been, you, you guys have been making games for a decade now, um, and making all different kinds of games. You know, you mentioned even stuff outside of this kind of genre, so yeah. to speak, right? So you did like some sports stuff. Um, how important do you feel that it is to, that we, we have kind of like these more thought provoking games, you know, uh, I, I can name a couple like Flower or uh, Journey, things like that, where kind of it gets you kind of like out of your... Your comfort zone of what you knew of, of the I guess the feelings you're, you're supposed to be feeling when you're playing a video game, right? Yeah. Or are you supposed to be feeling those 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 or, or that you know where, yeah. where, where's is where should we be expecting games to be going now? Because this is kind of like stepping out of the box of what people are used to. Yeah, I think it's super important that that these types of games exist, and like both types of games exist. Uh, I mean, sometimes just pure escapism is exactly what you need, but sometimes you want more than that. Uh, and I think both well, both things can be really rewarding. But for me, it felt like I wanted to do something that really had something to say. Uh, and I hope that more people get like the kind of ability, the, the sort of the wiggle room <laughs> to do stuff like that. Right. And I think it's good that a lot of these games are coming up and, and that we are part of that movement, just showing you that, you know, it's it's possible to make a lot of different types of experiences and, and games can really have like deeper meanings. And what I think for me is that games are kind of unique as a form of cultural expression in the way that they really hold on to your attention in a way that few other things can. Like you give hours and hours and hours of your undivided attention to a game. And it, it can really like, I think it's the art form that really can put you in someone else's shoes the most. You can actually experience what it's like to be someone and, and you know, share their experiences. And I think that's like super powerful. And I hope to see a lot more games try to do that and just, you know, I think empathy as a game mechanic is empathy. sorely <laughs> underused. I want to see more of that. All right. Well, it was funny because you had mentioned, you're like, oh, you know, I want to make sure people are going to be smiling when they're playing Unravel. Um, I have a feeling it's going to be other than <laughs> tears and, 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 and sadness. No, I mean, you know, it's maybe tears of joy. I don't know. But um, it, it's, it is interesting to see something like this kind of come together and, and seeing people's reactions. And you mentioned um, in, in terms of how the game is playing, you had someone as, as young as five and someone as old as 72 years old yeah. playing the game. And what's that feedback been like? Uh, I think it's, it's been mostly positive, you know. It's always like a balancing act, trying to find the, the right balance of difficulty and challenge. And, you know, uh, but we've had a lot of people, like you said, like a lot of people with zero experience, a lot of people with lots of experience, try it. And they all seem to get something out of it because it's not about, it's not just about the mechanics. It's not just about like nailing that jump or, or like figuring that puzzle out because 
people seem to be like very into the whole experience of like just being transported into this world and the kind of emotions that it invokes. So it, it's pretty cool that you know all kinds of different people get something out of it. Nice. Now, if there's uh, one last thing, I guess you would say to, to people that are maybe on the fence or what um you know who who, who maybe didn't see the trailer and just this is why they should be looking forward to unravel. Uh, because I hope they will enjoy it because it's a, it's a beautiful experience and it's also something that's it's really satisfying to play. Uh, I think for me the games that I like the most are the ones where like the core interaction with the game is very satisfying in itself and what we have with all these yarn mechanics is once they start to get like second nature and, and you can kind of like feel the flow of it, you can do some like really cool stuff with it that I just like super enjoy. And I think uh, Unravel is one of those games that has a very, very special kind of feeling to it. So if you're just into gameplay, then I think that's that could be your hook. But if you want the, the extra but layer. Then <laughs> there's also the side of that it's one of those things that, yeah, I think it can like be inspire you. I think it can move you. I think it can like, hopefully, you know, put a smile on your face. All right. Well, it put a smile on on, on our, I think everyone's face here in the room. So, again, Martin, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your time. This has uh, been Unravel uh, with with uh, Mr. Martin Celine, uh, one of the game's creators, and uh, we're watching Dual Shockers TV on DualShockers.com, and we're out. <laughs>